We recently invited a handful of kindergarten friends over for a winter movie and hot cocoa party. It was a bit crazy, but we had a blast. I think I may make this an annual tradition every winter. I started with a trip to the dollar store for supplies. I had a leftover roll of Christmas wrapping paper. We also bought little plastic silver spoons, a plastic tablecloth, paper doilies, decorative glass jars, paper cups and napkins, styrofoam trays for serving dinner to the kiddos, as well as cookies for hot cocoa topping. Not pictured are hot cocoa mix, mini marshmallows, and chocolate sprinkles we already had at home. I started by hanging gift wrap along a wall in our dining room, just using regular masking tape. Photo credit here goes out to my six-year-old son, who is always happy to help me take blog photos. Then I set a little media cabinet in front of the wall, covering it first with a plastic tablecloth and then paper doilies. Then we covered it with all of our hot cocoa bar essentials. Of course there was hot cocoa. I heated the cocoa in a crock pot and then served it with a ladle. It was hot so I made sure that I did this and not the kids. For toppings we had whipped uh, whipped cream topping, crushed Oreos, mini marshmallows, chocolate sprinkles, and cookie sticks. To make serving easier and to keep the kids from losing their cups, I labeled each paper cup beforehand using a black paint pen. We also made a hot chocolate themed craft, Shrinky Dink keychains. I took sheets of shrink film paper and divided them into six squares. Using a black sharpie, I drew the outline of a hot cocoa mug. Then during the party, each kid colored in their own mug. While they were eating dinner, I punched holes in each mug and popped them into the oven to shrink. We attached each mug to a key ring and the kids all went home with a new keychain. All told, this was a fun way to spend a winter evening without too much fuss or expense. For more creative winter ideas, be sure to visit my blog at thecrazycraftlady.com. Thanks for watching.